Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amina and today we're talking about online university, online lectures, online learning, just anything to do with the online realm. Zoom meetings, Google Meet, what else? Teams. All of these things are things that we've just become so accustomed to over the past sort of like 18 months. And I recently read an article which made me think about online learning a bit more and they were saying how apparently next academic year, university and a lot of like jobs, a lot of workplaces are going to continue to operate online. Now I know that some of you guys love online, I know that you love like maybe not commuting and having the flexibility to kind of do your own thing in your own space but speaking to students and like my sibling is a university student right now as well and I think most people have a, a similar sentiment in that initially it was fun and it was like oh, I don't have to go into uni and now it's a bit like I'm not learning anything I'm in bed and I'm a bit bored basically so I thought I would talk a little bit about a few ways that you can try to maximize how much content you're learning and the style of learning and just change things up a little bit when it comes to online learning because ultimately if you are at university you're still paying your fees you know you're still there so you do want to make the most of it and I think it is important to try to think about ways that you can try to maximize and try to mimic your lecture theatres and your university learning as best as possible and so today I'm going to be sharing with you five tips that I would highly recommend based on sort of my experience over the last eight month, 18 months and also experiences that I've heard from others for ways that really help them I guess just make the best out of the situation that we're currently in. If you want to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every Wednesday and every Sunday. So don't forget to like and comment and let me know what more you want to see from me. I've also opened up my membership on this channel. To see more about that, I'll leave a little highlight here to show you what that entails. But there's lots of good stuff. And you can join me as a friend, as a member. So go ahead, click the join button down below and you can get more content from me over there too. So the first thing I'd highly recommend is to go over your lecture notes before your lecture or to go over the meeting notes before you have the meeting. Now this may seem a bit counterproductive, this may seem a bit like what's the point, I haven't learnt this yet, I'm not, I, you know, there's no point of going through this and wasting more time. But actually it really helps to be prepared for what's coming up, especially when you are online you tend to lose focus a lot quicker online and i don't know about you but i find that i can't sit there for an hour just watching something online whereas i could do it if i were sitting in a, in a lecture theater so by having a predisposed idea as to what's coming up i'm looking forward to things and i know which parts of the lecture i might be struggling on i know what questions i have so i'll listen out for them a bit more it really helps to sort of get hold of those lecture notes beforehand look through them as much as you can try to understand them even do a bit of revision kind of look at textbooks or look online for notes and get really familiar with the content and so your notes you take during the lecture are a lot more purposeful and you've got sort of the right questions in your mind and you're less likely to kind of just get distracted and fall asleep and there's actually been quite a lot of research that's been done on this and many studies have shown that students that look at the material before they go through it officially in in their lesson do a lot better than those that don't and when I realized this at university I started to, to go through my notes before and I really really found that it helped to ask the right questions and to identify sort of where I may foresee some issues and so I was able to kind of really focus on those sections during the actual practical lecture during the actual session itself rather than sort of just being one thought like a one thought the whole way through where you're just a bit confused about the whole thing <laughs> this takes me on to the second tip which is to always participate I know most of you are gonna be like oh, I have why of like no this is the last thing that I want to do you don't need your cameras on unless you've been asked to obviously but when I say participate I mean try to ask one question try, try to kind of have questions in your mind and that's why the first point really really helps so reading your lecture notes beforehand reading the meet no meeting notes beforehand means that you know what's coming up you know what questions you're likely to have you know what issues you're likely to have and so what happens is when you now come to actually sit there and you're listening to the meeting you're listening to your lecture speak you're listening to the seminar you are able to ask the right questions because you've already had time to think about it you've processed this information and so by participating you're staying active this is actually active learning as opposed to passive learning passive learning would be where you're just sitting there listening to the lecture finish it off 
you close it and you, you're, you're gone. Active learning would be where you actually actively are asking questions, taking notes, thinking about things, applying what you, you already know into that particular lesson, into that session. And this really helps with the memory recall and so yeah, sort of long-term memory for the most part. You also, by the way, don't have to speak up. You can use the chat feature. That's a method that I think I would probably use more often than not, but it still means that you're participating. It still means that you're putting in some effort into learning and that will keep you awake during online lessons. Moving on to the third tip is to take notes during the lecture. It can be so tempting, especially with online lectures because you can record them or they can be given to you recorded. It can be so, so tempted and trust me, I've been there to just listen whilst you're doing other things or just kind of listen and not really be fully present. But taking notes as you would in a lecture theatre, as you would if you were in a meeting, in a seminar, in a practical, actually taking notes that are useful is so, so valuable to you and that will also help you improve the quality of your online learning. In that moment, no one can see you. No one knows what you're actually doing. So you could just be in bed watching a movie, putting it on mute and, and doing what you want. But then you're then gonna have to spend your own time later on watching the lecture, listening to the lecture again, taking notes, trying to understand it. And it, it really is just a complete waste of time. And it will get very overwhelming very quickly. Trust me, when you've got four or five different modules, different units, different things you're learning, you will find it very hard to catch up if you're doing it like that. So it's really important that you use that time to take notes and to ask the right questions so then you're able to engage and be active in your learning. And again, a really good a really good thing actually about taking notes is the fact that you are able to retain information better when you do that. Let me know if this is true for you as well, but I know that when I take notes, so when I'm writing something down, I can remember that information better than if I just listen to it. Some people I know are like auditory learners. Are auditory learners, they can learn from just listening to things. But I'm definitely someone that has to write it down. I'm definitely someone that needs to see it on paper and have written it in my own words in order to actually have better retention of it and better memory of it. So if you feel like, I, I never remember anything, like how do you remember? Try it. Maybe it's the fact that you're not writing things down and your memory, the, the optimal way that you work is actually through writing things down than just by listening. The next tip is to try to eliminate all distractions and more importantly, do not multitask. I've spoken about multitasking quite a lot on this channel before and how to help you focus and I'll leave the link for the video down below for that. It's really important that you stick to one task particularly when it comes to online learning. Treat it as if you were in the lecture theatre. So try to emulate as much as you can what it would be like being in a lecture, what it would be like being in a meeting room, in a seminar room, in a small practical room. What would you be doing in that moment? You wouldn't be watching a movie, you wouldn't be scrolling on your phone hopefully. You'd be focusing on that lecture and you'd be giving that lecturer, the person that's speaking to you, the respect that they deserve as well. So try your best. I mean, there's no reason why you can't treat it like a normal lecture. And so don't multitask. Don't have non-course related tabs open. Don't have like ASOS shopping. Like don't, don't do that. It really takes away from your focus. There's a lot of research that's been done. I've done a lot of reading before and I've shared it on this channel as well, where that shows that humans are just, we're just not able to multitask. As much as we say, like I'm a good multitasker, I can do like, for the most part, people cannot multitask very well. It detracts from the main task that you're doing. And it also means that once you've stopped an activity, the chances of you restarting it to the best of that ability and to kind of the highest of your potential is really, really low. So I'd highly recommend to just open up your whatever video conferencing software that you need to use, have your lecture notes in front of you, maybe on an iPad, maybe on a piece of paper, and that's all that you need. Put your phone away, put it on silent, treat it as if you actually want to learn. Like I said, the key thing here is to be as active as possible, try to learn as actively as possible rather than just being passive because that is possibly the biggest waste of your time and the least effective way of learning. And lastly, but definitely not least, is to have a routine. How are you going to plan for your online lectures? I'm sure that you have a schedule, you know what's coming first, what lecture do you have second, what time are they, how long are they? So give yourself a schedule. Use a planner, use a diary, have your notes ready, be prepared. And like I said, I'm guilty of doing all of these things I'm telling you not to do and that's why I'm telling you 
you not to do them because I know what a difference it can make. I know that I've got a meeting at 10 o'clock. At 9.55 I'll be scrambling to get my scarf, to get my notes, to get this, to get that. And when I'm in the meeting, I'm just like kind of trying to tone down in the beginning just to kind of <laughs> calm down from the faff that I was faffing around five minutes ago. You don't want to do that. You want to enter the meeting or enter your lecture calmly with all the notes prepared. You're not rummaging around for pens, pencils. You're there from the beginning. You're present from the beginning and you're treating it with respect. And I think that's really, really important. I think it's really important to make sure that you've got that routine. You're prepared. You've got a schedule and maybe even have like an accountability partner. So if there's someone from your own course, you guys both are bad at being on time or you forget what time the lecture is, just have each other there so you can kind of message each other and say, hey, lectures in five minutes, your stuff, are you ready, whatever. And at least that way you're, you're both trying to look, look out for each other. So I hope that was helpful. I mean, these are some very simple things that you can do. There are so many other things like changing your environment and changing the space that you work in and traveling here, but I, I really don't think these things are necessary. You can work in the space that you're in. You don't have to go far. You don't have to travel far. You don't have to buy anything fancy. All you need is yourself, your software and the notes and then the right mindset. That is all that you need in order to succeed with online lectures. And I hope that if you are starting university in a couple of months time, that you do find it, I guess, a good experience and try to make the most out of a situation that we can't really control. And if you are a second year student who's already had to go through a whole academic year of this, and hopefully you can try to kind of restart, refresh and do things a bit differently this year. Let me know how you found this video and if you found anything helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me as I mentioned in the beginning and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.